The first thing to do on a question like this is ignore all of the story stuff and just get back to basics, right? What are they really testing? What is at the heart of this kind of question? And they just tell us, right? It, it's about cylinders. So we need to start with that. And luckily, if we go back to the first page of this section with all the formulas, we know that you do not need to memorize the formula for a cylinder because it is given to us, right? The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Don't do anything else before you just write down that information on your page. Get it out there. Why keep it in your head? Put it on the page. Now the rest is just kind of filling that information in. So what are we told? Uh, okay, the cylindrical can containing pieces of fruit is filled to the top with syrup before being sealed. The base of the can has an area of 75 centimeters squared. It's kind of weird. And the height of the can is 10 centimeters. So, okay, 10 centimeters, that can go right here. Um, if 110 centimeters cubed of syrup is needed to fill the can to the top, which of the following is closest to the total volume of the pieces of fruit in the can? So notice what we have here. We're, we're being asked for the volume of the fruit, and then we have this other volume of syrup. This confuses people. Basically, we're just, it doesn't matter that the fruit is irregularly shaped. It doesn't matter that the syrup is a liquid. It, it all adds together to get the volume of the can is the point. The, the main thing that we need to kind of notice here is that while we do need to think about the volume, um, we do know more about the, the can, right? We're told the base of the can is 75 centimeters squared. That means that the area of the bottom is 75. And what is what shape is the bottom, right? It's, it's a circle. So they're telling us that the circle area is 75. Now I know that that doesn't seem like it's built into the formula, right? Because we, we, we need the radius. That's what the R stands for. But we don't need to work backwards to find it because pi r squared h or pi r squared without the h is just the area of a circle. So they're still dealing with the normal cylinder stuff. They're just kind of presenting the information in a strange way. But basically we can substitute that 75 for the pi r squared as a whole. So the pi is kind of just going to disappear, which is good for us because we don't really don't really like working with that. So there's my substitution. And that's going to tell me the volume of the can, which is just 750 cubic centimeters. Okay, great. But 110 of that is syrup. So if this is the can and we took out the syrup, 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 see I'm switching the pronunciation, that would be 640 cubic centimeters for just the fruit. So again, we're not like trying to calculate the exact dimensions of the fruit or anything like that. It The way that these liquid questions work is it's kind of just about subtraction, right? It's almost like the equivalent of like a shaded area problem, but now we're in three dimensions. And so if we take out the, this volume that we don't want, we're going to be left with the volume that we do want. It doesn't matter if it's irregularly shaped. It's just how this works. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of twists. And I think that that's expected. We're at question 23. We're in hard territory. And so the cylinder formula is pretty basic. But what they did is they twisted it up in a way that just added a couple steps here and there. They're not necessarily difficult steps, but they can try to throw us off our game. And just remember, get back to basics. It's about cylinders. This formula is still what we're going to use. So don't stray too far away. And if something is missing, try to tell yourself it's probably not missing. It's probably there, right? We were missing the radius, but not really because they gave it to us in this kind of weird twisted backwards way. And so problem solved and we can get back on track and just finish the rest of the problem. That's how they make things hard sometimes. They just take something normal, twist it up and make it hard to recognize. Trust yourself, trust the formulas. You know what you're doing.